So this is a youth water education fair. Um, it's part of the Oklahoma Cooperative Extension Service and uh, Cheryl Newberry and, and Claude Bess out of the Southeast District of Extension are, are really interested in youth water education and this is their idea for how we can teach kids about how to conserve water. Being able to teach the kids um, at this age ways that they can conserve water and protect our water is important because they can in turn um, teach their parents and, and uh, put into practice some things in their home that they will carry with them for the rest of their lives and hopefully we'll see uh, them making some big impacts in how they are able to conserve and protect the water as they move into adulthood. And so we partnered with Sanger Ridge Elementary here in Stillwater to do kind of a trial uh, youth water fair, uh, to do some videos and put some promotional materials together so that we can really take this throughout the state of Oklahoma. Well, I learned that my mom and dad pay a lot of money, like every single, for every single day each month for all the water that we use. I've learned some about aquifers and um, condensation and uh, all of the things that can cause those um, and a lot about water. There's five different stations today and the station that I'm teaching is called the, the Beverage of Life which is about uh, water in the body and how important it is for our health. Um, we also have one on the water cycle um, that teaches the kids how to how the water travels through the different uh, uh, stages of the water cycle and they're also learning about how to conserve water in the home with uh, simple tasks that they can do to re reduce the amount of water that they're using with even things like brushing their teeth and washing dishes and things like that. Turn off the faucets when uh, I'm not using them. And they're also learning uh, about aquifers today. Um, the uh, importance of aquifers and how they're uh, structured and how you get water in and out of the aquifers and experiencing that by actually getting to eat an edible, edible aquifer which is a really uh, great visual and way for them to learn about that particular session. I also learned that like hi we need to drink a lot of water instead of like uh, soda anyway. Well, I don't drink it so that's kind of good. Soda is really bad for like your bones and body and um, water is like really healthy for you. A, a leaky faucet can, um, uh, can waste up to 100 gallons of water a day. And hopefully over the next year um, we want to do training in all four districts so that we can Im impact youth all over the state of Oklahoma with school enrichment programs like this and in other settings like 4-H uh, day camps and overnight camping programs as well. I think the youth is where we would go to kind of start the practice of water conservation. I sometimes refer it back to recycling. When I was growing up, you know, I grew up on a farm, but uh, even in the community that I grew up in, recycling was not something that was emphasized. Now, if I go home and I have a tin can and I start to throw the tin can in the, in the trash, my kids are, they get all upset at me and say, no, you have to recycle this, you have to. So we've pushed it through in terms of recycling. I think water conservation can, can follow the path of, of what we've done with recycling. And I think what's gonna happen is the water fair is gonna be able to take these concepts and the kids are gonna take them and they're gonna go home and tell their parents about it. And, and so I think, you know, that's where we start to kind of build the impact of, and for water conservation.